Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty, I'm Scotty and same time, same place, same deal. We did the vehicles just now, which you may have saw a few days ago, a few days later from here. I'm shooting the same outfit, same sound, so I can get you guys more. So here it is. This one is kind of like a food truck. It's not like a real vehicle off-road type thing, but check this out. This is pretty cool. This is so different. Now, what's surprising about this is that this is actually from, if I'm not mistaken, this is from a local brand here in Hong Kong. They announced this a few months ago and they're selling it retail. They can buy it in all the little shops. It retails, I think for about maybe 20 to 30 bucks US dollars. I'm totally down for supporting local brands that are trying original set and releasing them. I think that's totally cool and I support that. Whether you support it or not, I have no idea, but look at this. So this is Royal Toys. Hong Kong softy car, RT-01, 303 pieces. So for comparison's sake, here's Zing Bao's truck that we looked at earlier. We're gonna put this one away and stick with this. Now this is really cool because this truck is an ice cream truck. It actually exists here in Hong Kong and it looks almost identical to it. I should actually go down and find one and film it there, but you know, I have to rent a car, it costs money and all that kind of stuff. Maybe next time if I find it, it's, you know, they're, they're kind of scattered all over Hong Kong. They have great ice cream. They're kind of like the soft ice cream from McDonald's and they have other cones and stuff inside there. Really good stuff on a summer hot day. If you're in Hong Kong, make sure you go find the Mr. Softy ice cream truck. It's pretty cool, sturdy, no problem building it. The manual is just like a piece of paper. We kind of seen these like if you bought smaller sets from me, you know, they're just, it's just like a simple, simple fold out instruction manual. The colors kind of blend together, so it's hard to see some part, but it's so small, you can get through it so easy. So let's take a look at it. Design-wise, it's actually just the same as the real thing, so kudos to them for kind of replicating exactly that. I don't know where the guys get their bricks from or they make their own. Not really that smooth, but you know, it's just like the other brands that we've seen before. Now the funny thing is that the windows, the doors, and the hood, they're all printed, but the, the rest of it is all stickers. So there's a lot of stickers that you do have to put on. You'll see me complain about the transparency. Is there something about the transparency stickers with white? They just don't look that clean. So the cool thing is the rooftop does come off. We're gonna put, push it off right here. The modular rooftop, there we go. Very easy, simple build. And by the way, these are stickers here. Yeah, you see that's the transparency white thing I'm talking about. I just, it's just a quality thing, you know? The rest of the stickers here, you do get a couple extra ones too. Let's put that aside. And look, look inside, look at that. It's really simple. There's not much to it. You know, for the ice cream machine there, that, that's supposed to be the ice cream machine in the corner. I kind of wish it had more details to it. But that's fine. You got a swivel chair here, so you can go to both sides. So you can actually sit down. Yeah, swivel both ways. Oh no, I'm falling off. Anyway, the chair can swivel both sides. So if I look inside here, there's actually a little handle here and you can pull this up. And inside we have ice cream. Chocolate ice cream, the cup holder, the yellow thing is kind of a nasty color, you know, but you can probably make your own little ice cream with your leftover bricks and store them inside there. So that's just it. That's just the storage room right there. So I guess if you're really buying this, if you're from Asia, you want a nostalgic look, you love Mr. Softy ice cream, it's just kind of cool to see there. A lot of people are like, oh, this is pretty cool. I do like the back. The back is actually pretty cool. It's just like see-through plastic brick. It's cool. It can kind of like tilt there. And you got the Chinese characters, stickers along here, Hong Kong Softy ice cream. And then along the back here, you got more Chinese characters on the bottom. I can't read Chinese. I know I'm a disgrace. I can read the first two words. It's a few. Some, it's like, be careful. Be careful you don't eat too much ice cream. And then you got the rear view lights here and the rear view lights are stickers on there. And that's the license plate down here. UJ4239, I wonder where they came up with that one. But let's take a look at the prints carefully. You can see here on the, it says Hong Kong Softy. That's fine. A little bit scratched up on the see-through window there. And on the other side, you actually have the menu. And the funny thing is this, I'm pretty sure that's the same menu that you see in the real one. You got the soft ice cream, you got a nutty drumstick. Uh, ice cream cup. Then you got jumbo orange here on the sticker. That's like, oh, what's that What's that brand? Orange Julius, remember those in the shopping mall? They still have those around. I need an orange Julius right now. I miss that flavor. Oh man, okay, so let's move on here to the front. You got the driver's seat, very simple steering wheel. You got two doors and the doors do have prints on them. Hong Kong softy again. And then you got the rear view mirrors. It's really simple. It's just like a flat solid black piece put on there. It's a very simple build. This, this is what it looks like underneath. There really isn't much to it. This is not available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. If you guys really are interested in this, if you really enjoy it or you want to buy it, just email the store 
and we'll see if we can hunt it down. I'll see if I can get in touch with this company to see if we can sell their stuff. I think it's actually pretty cool. I totally support this idea. I really hope that they work on more like local stuff. I think that would be amazing. And of course it comes with two minifigures. They're okay. I don't know if I like the color of the minifigures. It's three different colors on the shirt, the sleeves and the pants. I think just like, I don't know who designed it, but you know. The print is okay, the eyes and face is okay. So this is the guy that runs the Mr. Softy ice cream truck. John Doe, thanks for the comment. You're running this ice cream truck. There you are, looking very mismatched. But you look okay as far as printing goes. And there's one more figure that comes with it. She's riding on the back of this one. Okay, we'll take her out. Okay, you go back, Mr. Carr. Stay over there. She's buying her ice cream. Hey, mister, I wanna buy my ice cream. And she's gonna take a selfie of herself. Where's all the girl brick builders? We don't have any girl brick builders, so I'm just gonna call her Daniela because I have a friend named Daniel and I'm just adding the A because it sounds cool. There you are, Daniela. Prints are actually okay. It's just the color. Like, why are you putting a yellow sleeve with a pink shirt? Really? Like, that's the way I dress, man. That just reminds me, there's so many different versions of the selfie stick that I see like Lego and other brands are doing as well. It's interesting to see that they're doing that. So this one actually does have a sticker on it. And it's kind of hard to see with my eye. I'm gonna try to zoom in on there in the camera and show you guys. So there you go, from Royal Toys, the Hong Kong softy truck. I support you guys, I hope you guys make more sets. And until next time, I'm gonna have this lady, Daniela, we're gonna take a selfie together with the truck. You ready? One, two, three, break me up! This is actually pretty cool. Did I say welcome back to Big Miss Scotty? I can't remember. Put him in the middle there. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, fool. Make me some ice cream. Thank you guys so much for liking this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll bring you more. I promise you. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.